Hey everyone, I am Shubham. I have over 10 years of experience in IT and even without working in a fan company, I have built a really good CTC and career. So trust me when I say this, if I can do it, you can also do it. But the truth is, most developers in India get stuck at 6 LPA, stay there for years. Why? It's not because of luck, it's not because of the company, it's because of themselves and the habits they build. So in this video, I'll break down the real reasons why 90% of developers get stuck and how you can break out of that loop and if you find yourself in these points just comment i am breaking the loop so that you commit to your growth publicly so let's get started let's start with the biggest killer the comfort zone you join your first company learn some extract get comfortable with same tickets same jira same daily stand-ups months pass then years and suddenly boom you have become the guy who knows that one module really well here is the danger if your company stopped existing tomorrow if your company stopped existing tomorrow would your skills still have the market value the answer is no you are in a comfort trap people keep saying i'll start learning next month but that next month never comes not layoffs not market conditions this mindset is what keeps you stuck at the 6 lpa forever so start making change in yourself first second no learning mentality the biggest mistake developers make is thinking i already know react i already know node.js but the technology doesn't care about what you know every six months the stack evolves react changes dev tools change the market rewards learners not repeaters when you stop learning your brain stops growing and when your brain stops growing your salary stops growing too so ask yourself when was the last time you learned something that is outside of your comfort zone third this one's emotional developers get too attached to their company they treat it like a family which sounds sweet but your company is a business not a family i've seen people say i'll not switch i will wait for next appraisal and that appraisal comes with a 10 percent hike while someone who switched got 60 percent hike you can love your team your manager your office culture your office culture but remember your career is your responsibility not your hrs and not your managers it's yours then comes something subtle this skills the skills at first you grow fast html css js react and boom you are productive then you stop pushing no new challenges no deep dives you become a surface level developer you know everything a little bit but nothing deeply enough to be irreplaceable pick one area and go deep it can be front-end performance back-end architecture devops or even typescript mastery become known for something specific because in market specialists are getting paid more than generalists number five here is a big one most devs ignore communication you may be great at code but if you can't explain your ideas influence discussions or present your solutions clearly you will always be seen as an executor you will always be seen as an executor and not a problem solver start small talk in meetings summarize your work in slack updates Okay. write short tech notes explain your logic to juniors tech skills get you in the door but communication skills get you promoted communication skills can even make you ceo okay so that's the importance of communication skills another massive reason is not switching or no negotiation developers often stay years in the same company because they fear interviews or think it's not the right time but there is never a perfect time only time that matters is when you underpaid and when you do switch most people don't negotiate they just accept the first offer and that's like going to a shop paying full price and walking away smiling you need to ask more respectfully with confidence because the first offer is never the best offer ask for what you have learned ask for what hard work you have done and anyways they are not gonna get you promoted next year they are not gonna get you in the appraisal cycle next year so why don't you ask for those next two years so negotiation is very much important while switching Finally, lack of direction. Developers just keep coding features without asking, where is my career heading? Where am I going? They don't plan a roadmap. They don't know that I want to become a front-end lead. I want to become an architect. I want to become a DevOps engineer or they want to go in the management direction. So that they don't know anything about it. They just do the nine hour job and they don't have any career direction. Without clarity, every year just feels the same. So take time this weekend, open notepad or paper and write down where do i want to reach in two years which skills will take me there 
who is already doing it better and what can I learn from them? This one clarity can really change your entire career journey. So you should know where you have to go in the next two years, next three years, next five years, next 10 years. So the direction helps us to keep ourselves on the track and maintaining the career growth. So this is very important. You are stuck at 6 LPA because of these points. If any of these hit you, good, because that's your starting point for change. Remember, you don't need a fang job to make good money. You just need clarity, consistency and courage to move forward. Comment below, I am breaking the loop if you are ready to change your career graph this year. And if this video helped you, hit like, subscribe and share it with that one friend who is stuck at 6LPA. Because trust me, one small mindset shift can change your entire career. That's it for today. Bye-bye.